tone wood. There's still a lot of cockwaffle on the internet regarding this subject. Does the tone of your guitar change depending on the material the body is made from? So what spawned this insane debate in the first place? And uh, I use debate in the loosest of terms. I first came across it with uh, Rob Chapman and Scott Grove and their Slapfest. So for a while Scott Grove was the uh, loudest and most boisterous opponent to tone wood on the internet. Threads sprang up in guitar forums and people started to man the trenches of opposition, uh, lobbing opinions at each other and general insults. Millions died in the onslaught. So some tests started to appear on YouTube to try and show that the material of the body made little, if not no difference to the sound of an electric guitar. Then came the first weapon of mass destruction. Rob Chapman's so-called proof of Tonewood. So am I going to take on the Chappers? Well, actually no. Even though he does sell his guitars with a bias towards a Tonewood, uh, he's not the only one. Um, and he's not really making a huge noise about it either. But his video is about as scientific as a shampoo commercial. So who is making a big noise out there on the internet cloud? Who up there is the Thor who is trying to palm all this debate to death? Um, well, it's this guy. Who is he? Um, no one. Um, but he does represent the kind of person who is commenting on the subject with the IQ that would embarrass a baboon. Let's see what he has to say. Once again, gotta, gotta go back to Scotty, because Seems King Dumbass just wants to keep saying stupid shit to try to, I don't know, get his name out there. We're talking about YouTube. People use YouTube for different reasons. Some want to use it to promote, some want to use it to educate, and some just use it for fun. It's an open arena for people to say what they want. Um, you can't criticize them for using YouTube the way they do unless they're spreading hate. And right off the bat, you're hypocritical because your views only go up when you start bitching about Scott Grove. First off, I just got to say, if you just pay attention to everything that he does and everything that he says, you'll notice a pattern of him just deliberately naysaying and going against every single... every single bit of information we have about guitar and how they work and... Well that's not true is it? Because uh, if he was naysaying everything all the time he wouldn't have anything positive to say about anything would he? And uh, he'd be criticising himself the whole time. It's more likely that he just has an opposite opinion to what you think is important. And you're doing the same, same thing, just a mirror image of Scott's opinion. And by the way, uh, guitar is not an abstract noun what does what and all this everyone's you know the moral majority's knowledge about guitar the entire world and he will naysay all that and now he's formed a little cult of people apparently the whole world has an opposite opinion to scott grove and he has a cult of followers <laughs> they're called subscribers idiot there's no church of scott grove and i think they have it in their head like we are superior because we don't buy into what everyone else does. Well, common knowledge is common knowledge for a reason. When you have a whole entire mass of people that will tell you one thing, it's usually because there has been evidence throughout history and so many repeated events and things to show you that that's why that is the way it is. And that's also why you have a mass of people with an opposite opinion, because they have experiences too. It goes both ways. Uh, common knowledge, well, we'll come back to that one later. That it doesn't need to be argued. And why are you arguing about because it? Because it is what it is. And I, I, that seems to be Scott Grove's biggest problem is... I don't know. He wants a cult following of people that believe every word he says. 
He doesn't say that. He even says in his videos, you don't have to believe everything he says and you can go and find out for yourself. Now, I didn't make this video in support of Scott Grove and it's not a Scott Grove fan club recruitment drive. We are getting to the crux of the matter shortly. Now this guy's video is criticising Scott Grove for a video that he put out regarding guitar sustain and how it's affected by different neck constructions. Now I'm not going to concentrate on that, even though a huge amount of what this twerp says are the words of a retarded parrot. Well that makes you a fucking like professor in guitar or something? You can see that I'm a guitar player. I mean, you can see that I work on guitars. You can see that I do all this shit. This has been my life since I was a kid. It's been your life since you were a kid. Well, I don't know exactly how old you are now. I would consider you a young adult. That does not automatically give you encyclopedic knowledge to everything. And your brain doesn't have a fact filter that improves with age. It's just, his opinions have bred an entire, like, race of stupid guitar players that think they know everything because of what Scott tells them. So Scott Grove has been promoted from just, not just a YouTuber but to a genetic engineer and he's created this race of super atomic humans who are out to defy your wisdom. And they'll get like, they'll get like one shred of evidence or something. One shred of evidence is all that's needed. It's, a, it's enough to convict you in a court of law. It's enough to make you question a belief or a theory. As long as it is evidence and not just the thought posturings of a demented mind. And, okay, this is how, this is how science works. This is just the way it is, okay? There's always going to be contradictory proof that goes against, you know, um, a scientific theory and, you know, when it comes to an end, okay, this is scientific fact. There's still going to be bits of evidence against that that kind of contradict it it's when you take the entire whole of all the wait wait back up a minute can we go over that again scientific theory there's always some contradictions in a scientific theory if there's contradictions in science that means there's an error it means it's wrong it doesn't get glossed over or ignored it means that the theory is wrong, the observations are wrong, and the science is wrong. By the way, did you know the word scientifical is an obsolete and archaic form of the word scientific? Who taught you? Archimedes? No, because Archimedes would have understood all of this. It's when you take the entire whole of all the evidence, okay, you've got three things that show, oh, that's kind of contradictory to what the answer is, but then you've got a whole plethora of, of uh, evidence to show, to prove your theory. That's what you go with. I mean, that, that's how science works. I don't think people will understand that. <sighs> okay, so I'm Isaac Newton, and I'm sitting here by this fabulous tree, and there are apples all around the ground but there are three apples that are just floating in the air but that would screw up my laws of gravitation wouldn't it so i'll ignore those three floating apples because that doesn't fit my model that doesn't fit my equations i'll just concentrate on the ones on the ground problem solved honestly this guy's knowledge of science barely creeps into the realms of early alchemy and that's being unkind to early alchemists have you learned how to get termites out of a mound using a stick yet when you've got literally every fucking real musician out there in the world um, saying that, you know, tone wood absolutely affects the guitar's tone. When you have every goddamn engineer, oh, that's one of the big ones. Every musician in the world. Well, every musician in the world, please step forward. We'd like to hear from you. Just make sure you actually qualify as a real musician. Engineers and producers and shit because they will specifically have guitars with different woods so that it will get a different tone, a different characteristic to it. That's one big thing. <sighs> Are you sure you don't mean that in a, in a studio they have different guitars with different pickups, string gauges, scale lengths, etc.? Or do they have this range of guitars as well 
in all kinds of various wood species. Have you ever heard of the producer's channel strip? Here's a video. Uh, human auditory memory and perception are extremely fragile. Expectation bias and placebo effect are much stronger than people care to admit. Uh, if I can add something to that, I've also seen setups where there was an equalizer there for the producer to adjust right, to right. satisfaction. Right, right. They have the pr producer's channel strip that's not hooked up to anything. Yes, right. So engineers know that there are knobs coming in to fiddle with their knobs. And so they'll put one there for you to fiddle with. And on request, they'll oblige you with guitars and the most exotic tone words man can provide. And uh, making gestures like this as soon as your back's turned. One easy thing, if you, want, if you want to see how many musicians and guitar techs and engineers, all different types of people, will tell you about different sustains and, and what kind of woods sound different and this and that and tone woods and all the all the well, tell us. against or uh, for it tell us everything against what Where? Scott Grove says just go to Premier Guitar on YouTube oh. and look at their rig rundowns watch every single one of them and watch how many people talk about the shit I did you dumb shit there are 203 rig rundowns first is an acoustic so uh, that doesn't count and I made a list with four categories First is acoustic, which is no good to us at all. Uh, second is pro tone wood, where uh, they talk about the importance of uh, body materials or wood species in a guitar. Second is wood mentioned, where literally wood is mentioned or the body material is mentioned in the construction of the guitar or just simply listing the components. And the third is no mention at all of wood. That's the last category. It is, is what it is, is. Nobody says anything. Let's have a look at some of the names on the list. Uh, Def Leppard, Kiss, Fallout Ball, Brand New, Queen, um, Gary Carlton, Failure, Counting Crows, Oz Noy, uh, Brent Mason, Third Lloyd Blind, blah, 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 blah. Carlos Santana, Pat Benatar, mm. The Devil Wears Prada, Pete Anderson, uh, Bring Me the Horizon, uh, Robin Ford, The Sword, um, Jason Alding, Johnny Lang, Pixies, Keith Urban, uh, J.D. Simo, uh, Brendan Benson, the, the Cult Slayer, Corn, Rob Zombie, Deftones, All That Remains. Now, I got through 38 videos. I didn't pick and choose, I just started at the top of the Premiere Rig Rundown playlist. Uh, some of these videos have got multiple guitarists, so uh, you get more than one opinion in one video. Let's see the results. Okay, out of 38 videos, one was acoustic. Okay, we'll ignore that one. Uh, the number of people who mention wood, you know, like I say, just mention wood or the body material, uh, total was 13. Uh, the number of, pe of people who do not mention material or wood species or anything at all was 39. The total number of people who mentioned Tonewood? Zero. None. So if anybody wants to go through the other 165 videos, uh, please post your results in the comment section below. I stopped at 38 because I wasn't going to continue searching through these uh, videos for so-called evidence based on the ramblings of a scientific Neanderthal who has probably based his memory of these videos on confirmation bias. Your so-called evidence is complete bullshit. There's guys on this list with acrylic guitars, metal guitars, guitars wrapped in duct tape. John Fire from Rob Zombie has a hollow acrylic guitar that's filled with liquid and a whole illuminated lava lamp affair. Not tone lava lamp, is it? And not to mention the number of times that the people mention that the tone of the guitar comes from your fingers and nothing else. Uh, not mahogany fingers, not older, not ash fingers. Now I think one of the most important guys on this list is Brian May. He built his own fucking guitar. Now, what tone wood did he choose to build his guitar that he's used for his entire struggling career? Blockboard. Brian, if you're watching and you think I'm talking utter bullshit, please pop a comment in the section below. I don't understand it. And this whole, this whole misconception that age is knowledge, 
actually age sometimes is a hindrance of knowledge because people, older people tend to get stuck in their ways. Well, you said five minutes ago that because you're older and more experienced, you know all this. Are you saying that as you're gonna get older, you're gonna get dumber, wronger? Because I've had many conversations with stupid fuckers that are like, I don't know, old enough to be your dad. And it's like, better check, he might be your dad. Yeah, there, you can go anywhere on the internet. I mean, I, I made a valiant effort to uh, look all over the internet trying to find, you know, guitar makers, people, guitar players, everything. Well, you haven't looked very far, have you? Um, I've even sent you links. Uh, I know you've seen my experiment on Townwood because you, you were abusive to me in one of your previous videos. When I made my videos on uh, Townwood and Guitar Resonance, I truly expected a surge of other videos and counter videos and all kinds of tests, a kind of a truth community. I was certainly given plenty of suggestions, but so far, nothing from the, uh, the pro Townwood camp. You people, the Scott Grove fans, are the only fucking people that believe that Tonewood has nothing to do with the sound of the guitar. This is called a Venn diagram. It's a thing we use in science. These are the people that don't believe in Tonewood. These are the people who do believe in Tonewood. And this is Scott Grove fans. So there are Scott Grove fans who don't believe in Tonewood. But there are even Scott Grove fans who do believe in Tonewood. They do exist. There's a bunch of others who don't even care. There's also a huge bunch of people who don't believe in Tonewood who have got nothing to do with Scott Grove. You only attract the people in this portion of the Venn diagram because you keep attacking Scott Grove and spouting your intellectually nullified wisdom. It's common knowledge. Go look it up for yourself. I don't need to give any proof because the proof is already out there no wait that's enough uh let's back up here um it's common knowledge well common knowledge does not specifically mean fact in the days of copernicus it was common knowledge that the sun went around the earth if you ask the right crowd it's common knowledge that the moon landings were fake ufos exist and nessie lurks the deaths of loch ness you say you don't have to give any evidence well you do have to give us evidence you jerk spatter because there is no fucking evidence. Zero. Nothing. Zilch. Nothing that backs up what you and people like you say. Give us proper evidence and we can change our perception. We can rewrite the science books and bag a Nobel Prize. We'll be able to predict what certain body materials would do to the tone of an electric guitar. Because that's how science works. It allows us to make predictions to fit a model. Waffle only produces hot air and confuses the vulnerably dumb. The debate is over, your war is lost, unless someone can produce empirical, repeatable data that can alter the equations used in physics labs around the world. I'm an agnostic, which means I don't believe in God without any evidence. And when I say evidence, I don't mean a book written in post-Roman society, or rewritten in medieval England, or butchered in recent years. If you have found religion in your life and it's working for you, then that's great. But when it comes to the science relating to all things of the electric guitar, we do have to separate science from belief. If I told you your guitar was shit because it wasn't blessed by the Pope, you'd quite rightly call me an idiot. And that's how you people sound when you make your desperate attempt to confirm your beliefs. Now you can believe what you want, but what we're trying to do is educate people so people like you won't take the piss out of some kid's guitar because it's not made from some mystical Brazilian wonder lumber. There's no shame in plywood. So let us continue to educate and you lot stop with the biblical tantrums. We have the high ground. This debate has passed on. It has ceased to be. It's expired and gone to meet its maker. It's a stiff, bereft of life. It's kicked the bucket, shuffled off its mortal coil, run down the curtains and joined the choir invisible. This is an X debate. Rest in peace. Tonewood in a plugged in electric guitar.